Hi everyone. This is chapter nine of Blob. This chapter is called "An Elephant Ate It." I was j j j just spluttered Bob. Spit it out, boy! Boomed Sir Basil. The man's voice echoed around his zoo. I was just trying to help the animals, sir. Well, you are not helping. The zoo owner's face was red with rage, making my fish pull funny faces, encouraging a monkey to squeeze his own nose as if it was a hooter. Now you're teaching an animal who isn't supposed to moo to moo. Whatever next? Are you going to teach a frog to oink? Yes, sir. That's exactly what I was going to do. The pig-nosed frog. This only enraged Sir Basil further. I don't ever want you in my zoo again. But, 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 sir, let me see your ticket, boy. Bob panicked. An elephant ate it. Sir Basil's already narrow eyes narrowed. A likely story. So you didn't even pay to get into my zoo, right? I'm calling the police. Don't! Someone shouted. Bob and Sir Basil turned round. Winston, the zookeeper, was standing just a few paces away, a bucket of fish in his hand. How dare you shout at me! Bellowed the owner.、Uh, I- I'm sorry, sir. Spluttered Winston. He was nervous of Sir Basil, as was everyone who worked at the zoo. But I had to explain. There's no need to call the police. Why not? This nasty little runt has sneaked into my zoo without paying. The boy looked up at the zookeeper. He didn't know what to say or do. Mister Bob didn't sneak in, replied Winston. Then would you care to explain how he got in here without a ticket? There was silence for a moment before the zookeeper mumbled, "I let the boy in for free." You are fired! Bellowed Sir Basil. I want both of you out of my zoo this instant. Please, please, please don't sack him, sir! Pleaded the boy. Winston loves these animals. I don't care. Out. The friends shared a despairing look. Then, Winston and Bob made their way towards the front gate as the crowds of visitors looked sadly on. I am so sorry," said the boy. "It wasn't your fault, Mister Bob," replied the ex zookeeper. Bob bowed his head. As he held on to the old man's hand, all around the zoo, the animals stopped and watched. Honk! Came a sound. The boy looked up. It was the proboscis monkey honking his hooter. Honk! He did it again. The doodong let out a ginormous moo. The echidna. Put up his spikes, bring. The elephant seal trumpeted through his trump, pa pa. The snapping turtle snapped again, and again, and again. Snap, snap, snappity snap. The Komodo dragon roared the biggest dinosaur roar she could. It would have frightened a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> Plunk, plunk, plunk. The pangolin rolled up into a pine cone, and bowled herself around her enclosure, knocking down everything in sight. The hooded seal blew up his nose. Toot, toot. The marabou stork dingle dangled his dingly dangly neck. The warthog snorted. Oomph! The cone nose to peer put her cone nose as high as she could in the air. Twang! 
The eye eye made her eyes glow as bright as she could. The umbrella bird trilled and twirled. Too, too. The spotted handfish started clicking his fins together as if they were fingers. Click, click. The homogenous baboon wiggled her bright red bottom. Wiggle, waggle, honk, twing, click. The sloth, however, remained perfectly still. As for the blobfish, he swam up out of the water with all his might and performed the most incredible jump. At the highest point, he stopped still for in the air for a moment and let out a ginormous <laughs> before splashing back down into his tank with a massive splash. The sound of all the animals protesting was deafening. What on earth is happening? Boomed Sir Basil. It's the animals, sir. They're revolting, replied Winston. <laughs>